Nothing makes your house smell better than fresh cinnamon rolls. You thought I was going to let you go on the yeast thing, huh? Well, we're going to get the yeast back out, and this time we're going to make something really, really good. Here are the ingredients that you'll need for the dough. Five and a half cups of flour, a tablespoon of yeast, a teaspoon of salt, one half cup of sugar, two eggs at room temperature, a third of a cup of melted butter, and a cup of milk. Warm your milk to 115 degrees, add the yeast, and then sprinkle a little sugar on top. Let the yeast mixture sit for a few minutes, then add it to the bottom of your mixing bowl. Add the eggs, the butter, the salt, and the sugar, and then turn on the mixer. Then start to add the flour, about a cup at a time, until you have about a cup of flour left. Then you need to let the mixture rest for a few minutes. After about five minutes, go ahead and add the rest of the flour, turn on your mixer until you end up with a nice dough ball, and you can either knead it for five to seven minutes, or you can let the mixer continue for that amount of time. When you're done kneading, take your bowl, put a little bit of vegetable oil in the bottom, and then put your dough in there, turning it around until it's well coated, then cover it and put it in a nice warm place. While the dough is rising, make your filling. Take a cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of white sugar, two tablespoons of cinnamon, and a stick of butter. Warm the butter until it's almost melted, then add the sugars and cinnamon and stir until mixed. Once the dough is risen, put it on a well-floured surface and roll it out into a rectangle about a half inch thick. Spread your filling evenly all over the dough. Now start at the long end and roll it up until you have a tube. You'll see the swirls on each end. Cut the tube into one inch segments. I usually end up with 12 to 16 rolls. Then you can place those in your pan, cover those again, and then let them rise for another 45 minutes. They'll almost double in size after rising. Heat your oven to 375. While the oven preheats, take a half a cup of whipping cream, warm it for just a few seconds until it's warm to the touch. Pour it all over the rolls and let it soak in. Then, when the oven is ready, put the rolls in for 20 to 25 minutes. Now it's time to make the frosting. Take one and a half cups of powdered sugar, a third of a cup of softened butter, six ounces of cream cheese, and a tablespoon of vanilla. You can cream that together well and even add a few tablespoons of heavy cream if you want. Now ovens will vary, but I'll wait until the internal temperature of the rolls is 190 degrees. Sometimes it can take over 25 minutes to be done. Then take the frosting, spread it while they're still warm, and enjoy hot cinnamon rolls right from your oven.